Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants section 130, verse 20. There is a law irrevocably decreed in heaven before the foundations of this world upon which all blessings are predicated. All right, so here's the thing. There are laws, and then there are blessings relating to those laws. If we follow certain laws, then we are giving, given blessings relating to those laws. And this is how it is. If we don't follow the laws concerning certain things, we won't get the blessings. We don't get the blessings after unless we follow the laws we don't get the blessings for free we get love for free we get compassion for free we get kindness for free we get strength for free the blessings do require an effort we can say that we want them all we want but if we do nothing to prepare for them what makes us think that God will give us anything God gives us preparatory opportunities throughout our lives that we might be able to learn obedience in the different things that we need in order to partake of higher blessings. But if we can't do those smaller things, if we don't listen to the smaller admonitions, if we don't Partake of small op smaller preparatory opportunities. What makes you think God will want to trust you with the bigger stuff if you can't handle the small? God knows what is best for us when, and he gives us our agency so we can choose whether or not we want what he has in store for us. He prompts us to do things. He offers us opportunities. And we have the choice on our own whether or not we take advantage of any of those things. And we cannot be afraid to take advantage of those things, but if we don't take advantage of those things, we have no one to blame but ourselves. And we, will, we may have cheated ourselves out of blessings. Life is so very short. God's got many laws and many opportunities for us to be blessed. We just have to have the courage to choose happiness. Satan would have us be lazy and slothful and not take advantage of opportunities when they are there. Or to grieve over what we don't have and ignore what we have. Grieving over we don't, what we don't have is pointless. I mean, people do it. But there's no point wasting away and fettering away opportunities just because you may not get something you want right away or ever. There are other ways you can contribute to the world. And God will bless you as long as you never give up. And never quit trying to make something of yourself. Depression over things that have not yet been presented to you is silly. Soaking and just waiting around for what you want instead of trying to figure out what God wants is Satan's tactic to get us to ignore all the wonderful things we are capable of doing and all the wonderful blessings that Heavenly Father has for us. I mean, if you want to sit around and soak and do very little, just because you don't get what you want, okay. But you're only hurting yourself and cheating yourself out of blessings. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.